Let's talk about Yuji Itadori's new power-up. I am unfortunately very sick right now, but some things must be talked about. At the end of chapter 238, after Sukuna bodied my king Kashimo, and we then saw Yuji jump on in with the signature Sukuna claw hands, while he looks to be biting his forearm like he's straight out of attack on Titan, which is pretty funny. So what the hell is going on here? What happened to Yuji? Why is he looking so freaky? Well, we have a few options. One of them is he finally got Sukuna's curse technique activated in his body, which is the one I'm guessing people are going to jump on the most. And the other would be if this is simply the result of Yuji eating cursed objects after Sukuna left his body. Now the one I personally jump on to is I would think it's probably his CT because Sakuna's curse energy is soaked in Yuji and that's a pretty notable thing. But more importantly, Yuji and Sakuna, despite being different levels of morality, they are both technically cannibals. And while long ago I always said I don't think Gojo would be very happy with the idea of Yuji Itadori just going around eating people, but I guess that's kind of what he's been doing. And I think this also goes back to Yuji in Chapter 220 saying I'll eat anything to kill him because people sound like anything to me. But what does this all mean? Because Sakuna is probably about to have the longest court trial in Japan's history. Higuruma showing up with the Judge Man, that guy is going to have a field day with Sakuna because, man, this guy is just nothing but crimes. And Yuji has been long overdue a power-up, and people have been jumping on this soul swap so much. People want this guy to soul swap with everything, from the Executioner's Sword to Sakuna himself. It is wild, the theories around this ability. But Sakuna, at the end of last chapter, said, Brat, what can you do anyways? And dude, you're probably about to find out. All I'm saying is, the last person you want to shit-talk and downplay in Shonen is the main character, especially when you're his main villain. And I kind of like the idea of this being Yuji's power as a vessel, because Yuji being a perfect vessel, this is an exceptionally rare talent. And it kind of gets downplayed a lot or looked over that Yuji is one of the only characters in the entire series that can simply consume cursed objects and gain cursed energy and power from them. And my personal headcanon is I think Sakuna might be exactly the same way, because a vessel like this appears once every thousand years, so who was the last one? Probably Sakuna. Especially considering all of his talk of cannibalism, these two look like each other even if Sakuna is by narration deformed. And even though I don't think they're actually going to full-on beat Sakuna here, I do think they're going to save Megami and we will get the reveal of who Yuji is to Sakuna. Because right now, we are getting so much backstory about Sakuna dumped on us that it's building up to something. I mean, Sakuna is showing up in Kashimo's own death flashback. I've always been curious as to how Kenjaku is going to play into this because I doubt Sakuna is going to be happy that Kenjaku made somebody that could mess with him. And Kenjaku, for all of his faults, he doesn't really power scale people improperly. When he said that Sakuna will kill Gojo, he wasn't kidding. And Sakuna has turned out to just be more powerful than pretty much anybody expected he would be. So when Kenjaku says he expects great things from Yuji, I think we should probably listen to him. But I will say, Kenjaku is probably wrong about Yuda because Yuda is going to fight him eventually. I don't know if it's going to be in a 1v1, but I'm guessing the killing blow is going to go to him. But as for Yuji's power, whatever it is, I hope it's something like a CT or something unique to him, because if it's not, well then Sukuna is just going to copy it. Which brings up an interesting conversation, which is, how does Sukuna know how to copy what he sees so easily? So a lot of people would assume that this is because Sukuna is exceptionally talented, which he is, but I do wonder if this is related to his CT at all. Primarily for my Yuji agenda, because if it is, then if Yuji has Sukuna, Sakuna CT, everything Sakuna does, Yuji will be able to match. And Yuji has always been portrayed as a savant with curse energy, like he just gets it where other people don't. And this could be due to numerous reasons, a lot of people think he might be a reincarnate, or he's simply built different, which I guess technically he is literally built different. Being an experimental baby of Kenjaku is a pretty good way to get your jujutsu potential skyrocketed. At the end of the day, there's only so much you can gather from a one panel of Yuji jumping on Sakuna with claw hands. But if this is Yuji getting Sakuna's CT, well that is such a long time thing in this series that was set up ages ago that most people pretty much thought Gege forgot about it. 
And it happening now after Gojo is dead and Sakuna is looking pretty much unstoppable. I think that's a pretty good time to have that reveal, though I don't know if slashing attacks fit Yuji that well. Only because Yuji always struck me more as a bludgeoner, because bludgeoning, punching your ass, that is kind of his whole shtick. I would have sooner expected Yuji to use a giant baseball bat than actually pull out a bunch of claw hands, but this is still cool, I'm still here for it. And as for the court trial domain that is coming up and is probably going to be the next chapter, I have a feeling this is probably going to be more effective than most people think it will be, but not effective enough to actually stop Sukuna in the way they need to. But I'm curious how Yuta, Hakari, and Maki are going to play into this because I don't think anybody expected Yuji to show up first. And from the smile on Hakari's face and the unhappy face that Urume was making, it looks like Hikari did pretty well in the domain. So if there is this giant courtroom trial that they don't have to really intervene in, I'm guessing Yuta, Maki, and Hakari could just jump Urume. I mean, you might as well just get rid of them. I know I dog on Urume all the time, but Urume is incredibly powerful, and getting punched by Gojo and not feeling very good, that's not exactly an anti-feat. And if Sakuna makes it out of this, which he probably will, I doubt Urume does, because Urume just doesn't have a huge purpose in JJK outside of being Sakuna's lackey. And Sakuna is probably about to start stacking even more bodies, because we have a lot of extra characters in JJK, and the characters who have to live, well, there's really only one or two. So if Higuruma is unable to confiscate Sakuna, well, things are probably about to go down the drain. And as far as Yuji is concerned, he's been pretty much having a buff ever since chapter 214, but nobody really commented on it. And Gege has been dropping some more hints like the whole soul swap stuff, which, you know, again, everybody is talking about for months now. And this really seems like it's going to be the culmination of Gojo's one month break he took before he fought Sakuna, Yuji's training, and Yuji having Sakuna inside of him for most of the series. I really think that Yuji is the key to defeating Sakuna, and whether or not the Gojo already knew that, or they're gonna find out in the middle of this fight, we'll probably see pretty soon, but overall, I'm pretty intrigued at where this is going. The reveal of the relationship between Yuji and Sakuna, it is pretty much inevitable at this point, so that is the biggest thing I am personally looking forward to beyond just power scaling stuff. Personally, I am still on the twin theory. I hope that they are twin brothers because if Yuji is Sakuna's twin, it just adds a lot for me personally on a reread. I know this video is a little more scatterbrained than my usual ones, but I want to get some of my random thoughts about Yuji's new power-up, the claw hands, and all of that out there for people that want to hear it. I will try to still get a full chapter review out, so expect that around the weekend if I get around to it. And if you like content like this, subscribe for more. And as always, thanks for watching.